Last year, I met a nine-year-old aspiring writer who's absolutely obsessed with the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series. There isn't a picture, a plot point, or a subtle joke in the books that Jacob has missed. What Jacob didn't know, though, is that the author of the series, Jeff Kinney, was here and had an offer for Jacob we knew he couldn't refuse. So let's take a look. Are you a fan of books? You like, you like reading? Yep. Yeah? Is Diary of a Wimpy Kid one of your favorites? Yep. Well, we actually have a surprise for you. Do you want a surprise? Yes. Okay, okay. The creator of the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series, Jeff Kinney, is here and wants to meet you. Is that cool? Yeah. Look at you right now. Come on up, Jeff. Come on over. <laughs> Jacob, this is awesome. I can't believe I'm getting to meet you. You're like a legend. Thank you for being a fan. But I also wanted to say, I have a studio in Plainville, Massachusetts, in my bookstore on the top floor. And I would like to invite you to spend time with me in the studio, draw on my computer, and talk about books, and talk about your books. Does that sound like a good idea? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Great. All right, let's see on the deal. Well, the day arrived when Jacob got to meet Jeff at the studio, and it was pretty epic. So check this out. I'm here today with Jacob at my bookstore, an unlikely story in Plainville, Massachusetts. I get to finally show you around. Are you excited to see the Wimpy Kid Studio? Yes! Excellent, okay, let's go. We're gonna tour the bookstore, Diary of a Wimpy Kid Studios, and then we're gonna do some drawings together. Jacob, welcome to my bookstore. I'm really excited to be here at an unlikely story. Do you like it so far? So far, yep. So far, yep. I don't often get to spend time one-on-one -on -one with fans, especially fans who know so much about the series. So this is a really special day for me. Do you know who this is? Greg? That's right, that's Greg Heffling. I really loved his latest book, No Brainer, because Greg's luck was changing. He actually got a girlfriend for once. Well, I understand you're an author yourself. Is this true? Yes. I have a little surprise for Jacob waiting on the shelves. Why don't you pull that book out? John vs. the Gufflegorps. It's your book! <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Yes. Flip it open. You're gonna get to see your own work in print. Jeff tells me to pull out this book, and it's my book, John vs. the Gufflegorps. Isn't it cool to see your work in a book form? Yes. Yes. It was really exciting seeing Jacob find his book on the bookshelves. I think he sees that he could become a published author. You've seen the bookstore, but you haven't seen the Wimpy Kid Studio. Are you ready for the main event? Yes! <laughs> Great. Let's do it. Let's go. I'm 100% most excited to see the studio where Jeff works on his books. No way! Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Wimpy Kid Studio. Isn't it cool? Oh, oh. <laughs> We've got lots of cool stuff from the Wimpy Kid universe. He's a super fan of the books with a deep knowledge, so this is going to be more special for me than it is for him, because I'm going to get to see it through his eyes. Check it out. Do you know what this is right here? The cheese touch. That's right. Greg is actually touching the cheese here. Now, do you know Greg Heffley's favorite video game? Twisted Wizard. Twisted Wizard. We have a Wimpy Kid airplane room over here. Jacob's got something really special about him. His mind is always going. His eyes are looking around the room. He's taking it all in. You think it's cool? Yes! I'm actually starting to work on the cover for my new book. How would you like to work with me on the cover of the new book? Yes! Sound like fun? All right, let's do it. He's been a fan of the series, and now he's a part of the story. My idea is that Greg is sitting in a giant bowl of spaghetti. So do you want to draw like a bowl underneath the giant pile of spaghetti? Like I think it would be down here, right? And like that. This is so cool. The most exciting part of today was working on the cover with Jacob. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, and then since it's checkered, how about right over here? And excellent. I think this looks really good. I think we're on the way to the cover for book 19. Jeff is so cool because he showed me around his studio and he let me draw with him. This is probably cooler than anything I've ever done in my entire life. I hope that I inspired Jacob on his journey to becoming an author, but he really motivated me. This was just the spark that I needed to work on the next book. Thank you so much for coming to the Wimpy Kids studio. Did you have fun today? Definitely. I can't wait to see what you come up with next. You've inspired me with some good ideas. Oh, that's awesome. We've got the author of the Diary of a Wimpy 
Kids series, Jeff Kenny here, along with one of his biggest fans, an aspiring children's author himself, nine-year-old Jacob. Give it up for him, y'all. So last week, Jeff gave Jacob a tour of his studio, and together they worked on the cover for Jeff's new book. So what was your favorite part, Jacob, of visiting Jeff's place? My favorite part was when I walked into the studio and saw the giant Welcome Jacob sign. <laughs> yeah. when, when I beat Jeff Kinney at his own video game. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw my own book on the shelf. Oh, that's exciting. And when Jeff let me help out with the, new, with the next cover of his, book, of his next book. That is super cool, I know, what an honor. What, what, so Jeff, what do you hope that Jacob got from the visit? Well, I think it's really cool that he can see an author as a real person. You know, growing up, I only saw an author as the name on the cover of a book, but it's really important to know that there are, there are people behind the, the words that you read in your favorite books. Yeah, absolutely. And did, did you, I don't know, did, you, did the visit make you want to be an author even more so now? I've never met a professional author, and yes, it did make me want to be a author even more because maybe I'll end up with a cool studio like Jeff's instead yeah. instead instead of a boring studio like my instead of a boring office I mean like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! You're just, you could also be a comedian. Um, that was amazing. No, it is fun. I remember we showed your office last time, and I was like, "That's magical!" It and is. it's so inspiring. All the colors, like how it's set up, it's very bright. So, do you have any advice for Jacob? Yeah, Jacob. Uh, first of all, you're already a creator, so you're already on your way. A lot of kids like just play a lot of video games and stuff like that, but you're actually making books already. And what I'd say is the best thing that you can do is to find people who will give you honest criticism. If you want to get better, like if you show your books to your parents, you know, your grandparents, they'll say, oh, this is so great. You know, we love what you've done. But if you can find somebody who will give you real criticism, it will help you to grow. Yeah, it'll push you. Yeah. And so when I was a kid, I had a teacher in the fifth grade named Mrs. Norton. And she could see that, that I liked comedy and I wanted to get better. And so she gave me really good criticism that was hard criticism. One time she saw me practicing a skit with my friends for a talent show. And she walked in the room and she said, you know what, there's a difference between laughing at and laughing with. And she told me that we were on the wrong track. And I'll always remember that and it helped me get better. It was hard to hear honest criticism but it helped me to grow as an artist. Absolutely. Do you, do you have anybody in your life like that now that you show your work to and they give you like kind of like, oh, pointers on what you did? Uh, I have my friend Gus. He does, he, I don't really show my work to him. Sometimes I do, but he does give me honest criticism. Okay, that's good. That's, that's a, a good friend. friend. Yeah. Honesty, that's where it's at, yeah. Well, Jeff, you and Jacob are working on the cover for your newest book, right? That's right. My, my new book is coming out. It's called Hot Mess, and Jacob and I came up with this idea where um, Greg is, like, sitting in a giant pile of spaghetti. What was your favorite part about that, Jacob, drawing that together? All of it. All of it. <laughs> it was really cool because I've never done this with a fan, and Jacob's a real fan of the book series. So it was really cool because what you worked on with me is going to get seen by millions of people. Isn't that cool? Yes. Yeah. Yes. He is like, absolutely. It'll get me to that studio. <laughs> Instead of the boring office job. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we, we have the finished book cover Jeff and Jacob are working on. So, Jacob, you want to reveal it? You haven't seen it yet, right? This is your first time after y'all were creating it? This is your first time to really see it? Yeah! You like it? Yeah? Oh my gosh. Well, come on back over. Come on back over. Or should yeah, I I'll take it. I'll take it. Watch this. <laughs> Beep up. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's fun to have your own show. Um, <laughs> Diary of a Wimpy Kid Hot Mess, which is the perfect cover for this book, is out October 22nd. We're going to be right back with what I'm liking. Great job, guys. Yay.